Your boy. Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> Your boy, uh, Mr. Mathers, a.k.a. Slim Shady, uh, is back with his long-awaited album. He has album in four years, I think. Yeah, four years. Long drought for Eminem. Revival. Yeah. The revival of M. A lot to talk about with this with this album. It's even, it's even said that it might be his last album. I said it on the album. Yeah. He did say it on the album. Yeah, You're right. He said it on there. Uh, which, you know. He, he let a lot out. He did let a lot out. He uh, he spoke. He, he had words for his uh, ex, Kim. Right. He had words for Haley, his daughter. You know, for everyone. Right. I mean, he aired out a lot and talked about his past. Shit that he did. I mean, he kind of. Uh, Didn't hold back. Right. You know what I'm saying? When it came to, I mean, politically, he, obviously, we were going to get that. We all knew we were going to get that. Right. And, I mean, he just, he didn't hold back. He just said what he said. He had his, he, he was able to kind of, was able to, I mean, the bars, you know, the word play. I mean, a lot of shit. It's an album you have to listen to multiple times if you want to catch some of the shit he was saying. Because I was catching some of the shit. Luckily, on sometimes, you know, so I'm thinking like, damn, that could have went over my head, right? And he had a lot of that in there, and just like the wordplay. I mean, there was a lot of also, you know, the way he was spitting on that freestyle, right? You know, about Trump and shit. He mm-hmm. was actually he had songs where he was spitting like that, right? Right. And it's like I, I kind of wasn't feeling that first for for an album, right? You know, I'm like uh, for the freestyle, the way he was doing it, yeah, but. The track, nah, he he made it work, but he but it's just I wasn't feeling it. Wasn't know? feeling like, it. Yeah, not that part. Like it was like when I said he made it work, it's like because the spitting slower and then kind of stop and then keep going and then stop and then keep. You got to catch it right on the on the on the beat, you know. And he he did that, you know? right? So he did spit it right, but he. It's, I think he could have kept that for that, like for freestyle instances. It's like you kind of, and maybe he was freestyling. That's the thing. Yeah, he could have been. He could have been freestyling. Could have been. So I mean, if I mean, if he was doing that, then should I take back what I said? <laughs> no, nah, you know, I think he was definitely writing his his lyrics down. I think he was definitely, you know, trying to convey messages throughout everything. No. Um, for those, for me personally, for those of y'all that were like looking at his features and was like. I know what this is gonna sound like. It sounds exactly like what you thought it was gonna sound like. You know what I'm saying? It sounds exactly like that. Uh commercial. Yeah, it's it's commercial. I mean, you know, the track Believe where he, he comes in and he's, you know, kinda letting everybody know like I'm I am, you know, Marshall Madness Marshall Mathers, uh do you still believe in in me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um I thought that was a that was a decent track. Uh could have been it could have been you know, uh, execute it a little bit better. Uh, but I like some of the lyrics in there. There are some lyrics in there that also are kind of, kind of corny. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah, he did, he did. Some of his punchlines were a little, were a little like, come on, M. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, it's just some of the metaphors and stuff. Then there were other times where I would hear his wordplay and I'm like, yo, that's just amazing, amazing wordplay here. Yeah, there's some amazing <clears throat> wordplay. This track, Chloroseptic, uh, with, I guess you would call the only rapper on on the album where he's kind of working on the hook uh what did you think about Eminem kind of doing he was kind of doing the new the new style flow a little bit yeah he did he was yeah and I think he made it sound he, he did it better than than, than them than, than, than they did yeah you know like, I actually do it. didn't like that man I was just like all right, man, you gotta you gotta fall back. Oh, yeah, I don't think he needs to do that. Right, right. No, but I think he did it better than them. Right, right. Like maybe they, they can take a page out of that, but Eminem doesn't need to do that because right. that ain't his. <clears throat> it's not Eminem. No, it's not, man. Uh, you know, I'll, it's reaching for, it's reaching to just. I don't know if he's trying to grasp the youth. Right, right. I don't really know what he was really trying to grasp with this whole album. To be totally honest with you. Uh, there are some songs I hear that are that are pretty good, and then there's, you know, some of these these kind of commercial uh, sounding songs, which I, the the lyrics for the most part aren't bad, they're pretty tip top. 
Yeah. But just to me, sonically, you know, like, I don't know, man. They're kind of like the way you lie. But like, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, like, uh, that's what a lot of this album sounds like. The way you lie isn't like a bad song per se, but it's not a, it's not great. It's not legendary. You know what I'm it saying? It ain't. It ain't something to go out to go out on. Right. Like if this is your last album, it's like come on. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like there was he, was he held back some, and if and maybe it's not held back, so maybe that's just what he has, and he just ain't. That's just tip top now. Right. You know? I mean, there's songs on here that, that you know, where it, it's like Bad Husband, for example. Like I said, the lyrics aren't bad. They're dope. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want to hear this. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I, it's a good concept and I get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. And maybe Eminem's, a, you know. He's older, you know what I'm saying, and but I don't know. I just want something different from Eminem. I don't know what I was. I kind of got what I was expecting when yeah. I was looking at looking at these these features, but I wasn't really feeling this as a whole. There's there's so there's some, you know, like the track with Pink or like the Nowhere Fast or the tragic endings or the the bad husband or the one with Alicia Keys, and I was just like, oh man, this. Well, we we, you talk, know what I'm we, we talked about this when we were at one point where it's like we think we need Eminem back on drugs. <laughs> Listen, this sucks, but Cause gosh, it, damn, shroomed out and slip shady. This is not you're not gonna get that. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, that's not what you're gonna get. We we talked about yeah. at one point when we were when we were actually making predictions and right. kind of like talking about what he needs and what. And then once we saw the track list, yeah, we're. Really, I mean, some of, some of these songs don't even really sound like complete. Like even the believe track, which is a track that I kind of like, it doesn't sound like it's com- like complete. You know what I'm saying? It just sounds like the. I don't know. It just didn't sound sonically complete. It kind of run, they kind of run together too, right? You know, right, like right. Everything kind of some of the tracks kind of started in the last song and then right, right, went to right. the next kind of. So I kind of like how he did that because that's old school. That's like where I mean, you ain't, you don't hear that a lot where they're like actually kind of fading in and it's just like actually one giant track pretty much. Right, right. That's what you're saying. Right. Yeah. You know what though? I really honestly believe that. There needs to be. There's like hard. There's, I don't think there's any. There's any track produced by Dr. Dre. <laughs> Dr. Dre yeah, that, 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 you know what I'm saying. That, that was. What the fuck is up with that? That's not right. That's <laughs> not, not right. That's not right. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not right. It's not right at all. Not right. <laughs> no, wow. <laughs> no, Dr. Dre. Like yeah, no. Have Dr. Dre in your Eminem. It's like what the fuck happened? It's like. What happened to you need a doctor? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't like that song either, man. But no, I know, but you still, what I'm saying is like, at the, the whole point of what I'm saying is like, he, oh, because you need a doctor to doc- fix you. He's like, yeah, well, he needs a doctor. He needs Dr. Dre. And it's like, to not have him at all. Yeah, like, <clears throat> that does like, it takes away. Yeah, it really it does, man. Him and him. Like, just like, you need Dr. Dre. Like yeah. in these days, I think Dr. Dre needs Eminem. Yeah, what the like, fuck is Dr. Dre not? Hand in hand. I'm saying, but Dr. Dre's like he's still working every day. Where? Where is this Dr. Dre? For, where is this? All he these wasn't beasts? on Eminem. Not one track. There's a there's the remind me intro, which is it says it has him down as producer credit, but other than that, I don't. Where is Dr. Dre at? Yeah, you would think he'd be all over it. Are they, are they beefing? Even featuring, featured, you know, a track yeah, just, with Dr. Just talking Dre. some shit in the background? Yeah. You ever heard the song on Encore where they're talking about, um, uh, it's the, uh, it's the song, uh, I forget what the song is called, but, uh, <laughs> he's, he's rhyming on it and he's like, now in the Bible it says, thou should not watch the lesbians and be, have homosexual sex. That song. Yeah. But there's a part where he was like, let's ask Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, I got a question if I, if I may. And you hear Dre in the back, he's like, yeah, what's up? Like, he's there. there you yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, why is there no it. Dr. Yeah. Dre on here? Like, you know. A guilty conscience or some shit. All right. I think this is more of like a, um, I don't know how much of this is Eminem's doing or if there was somebody else kind of Blowing saying, hey, let's do this, do this and do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if there was somebody else. a lot else. of politi- I, political force behind it, too. Like, Right, right. 
I don't know, it man. Wasn't really, the Eminem it was, one. It, yeah, I he mean, but you like the album. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Witty, because he had some good witty bars. Right. I, I liked it, but it, it wasn't. Still wasn't the Eminem we wanted. Right. Like that, I wanted. I mean, right. it was decent, but it was definitely commercialized. Like it was. I mean, yeah, I actually I, not decent. It was good, but it was commercial. It was definitely a lot of commercial shit in there, and then it just. There was like you said, like some of his fillers, like the 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 punchlines, some of his punchlines, and what he says. Mm. I can't even think of any. I mean, he may not be. He, he wasn't just. Yeah, he may not be. He may not be inspired anymore. You know what I'm saying? He makes he loses at some of his rhymes. He'll say, yeah, you know, like he was talking about like when he was when he was younger. You know what I'm saying? How he was killing shit pretty much, and uh, how uh, you know. Uh, it's hard to, you know, continuously be killing shit. You know what I'm saying? No. Which I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Is yeah. When you get to a certain point, it's like, where do you go from here? You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, it started off a little more strong, like with the way he was going, and then there was, then it was kind of like up and down, right? Like, because then he he'd go in, and then he'd go in on a track, but then he kind of fall back with one of so, like something he says, and it's kind of like yeah, it's just a little weird line or something. Yeah. I'm just like. Uh, but then I mean you also can think of that as like that's Eminem I mean he always started he's always says crazy or just weird things and just but Eminem kind of at one at, at some point evolved away from that and kind of hit like a high point his peak like greatness and it's like that's what he needed Damn, to stick where, with where and was his like, peak at though of, it's gotta be that G unit era cause he was going fucking hard like the yeah. mid 2000s probably he was going fucking hard, bro. He yeah, was he going was. hard. He was going hard right there. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be, like, be like the peak. When Obi Trice was. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Off. Yeah. That was probably peak Eminem to me. In a yeah. sense. Uh, impossibility, yeah. Arguable. I mean, there's people who will feel otherwise. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't I mean, think he should go out with point. this album though. This is the last. Album. I really don't think he should. I don't go think out he should album. go out with this album. No. I was. I don't had let, a lot don't more let high us, hopes. Don't let us. Don't let us rock with this out here like uh, this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. You gotta go back in and do it and have a do over. You know what I'm saying? And you need Dr. Dre. Yeah, you gotta get Dr. Dre. Like, which... if you're gonna if you're gonna get on some trap beats, you might as well just get motherfucking Metro Boom on a trap with Scott. Okay, because you kind of want a little trap in the beginning there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the more harder, kind of bouncy type beats, you know, which is fine. It's cool. I'm not knocking that, but his wordplay, like the beginning, and he was just going in with. He's got no. He's got some. He's got some he got, dope wordplay in there. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and don't, don't get me wrong. There's there's still nice ass Eminem wordplay in there. Okay, but uh, you know. all in all, just it, it it goes from that to then all of a sudden. Uh, some this line or these few bars were like, what the hell? I'm then, trying to think. Then it goes back in and it's like. There you are, and then it's like, is this his worst album? Worst album? Oh man! If not, give me another one that's worse. <laughs> See, that's a good question. When you put it like that, right, yeah. Right. When you put it like that, it's like, wow! I didn't even, I, I didn't even think of that right, like right. that. Think of it like that, like, man. It could be. I mean. <laughs> Like, cause it's just not the Eminem. Like, like you said, it feels like someone's behind. I mean, like, the Martian Madness LP two was okay. It, it was, it was, you know, uh, the recovery was was better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it may not be the worst. No, it may not be the worst. There, there's actually a few that I, I can't even remember which ones, but there's ones where I, I just was really like, I was like, no Eminem. Right. Like, I, I didn't even feel those albums. Like, like. It, as whole albums there was tracks that were like cool but at the same time they're like they're just alright it wasn't even they weren't that great to me right there was a part where I'm, yeah a point where Eminem fell off to me and it almost felt like that's when he was not inspired so he, it seems like it could be now that he's not as, as inspired as well now also but he just it's not a worse album I can say that right. but personally yeah it's not his worst album I would. I I'm not, right. and I'm not going to tell you which one is the worst because I can't even think of the ones off the top. I would of say right this is up there with the worst. Oh yeah, I'm, worst. it's not For the me. worst, but it's probably. I don't know if this is the worst. Some people, some people look at Encore as a bad album. Some people that might be. Some people that see Relapse as a bad album. Some people see pretty much everything from Encore out is either either one of those could be bad albums. 
or all of them could be bad albums. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's the point. Yeah. That's probably but around the point where I was. This is high thinking. up there. This might be the to me the worst album yeah. from Eminem. Yeah, just what he was what he's going for. Well, let's, let's get to the right. What you get this on a scale of one to ten? It's got a one to ten. Yeah. Give it a seven. You give it a seven? Yeah. That's interesting. I was expecting you to give it a little bit higher. All right, no. No, because yeah. it, it's not the, like, we, can we discuss this? It's like, we want, I, we want Mushroom Pop and Eminem. Like, that's right. the, that's the Eminem that really kind of made a big impact. Right, right. More of an impact. Where I, I see what kind of impact he's trying to make here, and I guess he's also trying to make amends with a lot of the shit he's done. Of course, yeah. With this album, but I mean, it grown goes, up, and, and it goes hand in hand with revival, like kind of a, a new Eminem in a sense. But if that, I mean, if that's it, right. you know, then we'll. This is probably the Eminem we're gonna get. Right. We won't. We will not get the old Eminem. This is gonna be it. I gotta give this one a five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah, I give this one a five and a half. The lyrics, there's some strong lyrics on here. There's also some weak, kind of weak uh, lyrics, which I kind of expected a little bit more from. Yeah, that's from what, yeah. And then um, the production some of the beats, wasn't. yeah, you know, and then yeah. some of these songs were a little too commercial for me. Uh, you know, like I find it kind of a chore to listen to some. Like I said, the lyrics and stuff aren't bad, but like just the kind of the song and hearing somebody come in and singing. You know, the way that they always do on these tracks, I just wasn't feeling it. You Man. know what I'm saying? Um, I would have liked to hear a better Eminem album. But that's my that's what I give him a five and a half. Yeah. Don't go out don't go out like this and don't go out like this, man. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, don't go out like that, Amber. Right. I don't even want to give you a seven on your last one. Like <laughs> come on. It's like and that's why I get like I had higher hopes for this, like uh, and at the beginning, I was really like I liked it, and then yeah, it just it wasn't holding up to like like it was like almost more wishful like right like wishful hope that he was gonna deliver, and it kind of just as it kept going, it's like it's not happening, it's right, not right. happening, it's too commercial. But it, it but like his bars were there, but then that time, yeah, right. Well, having them do better, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll expect more from you, man. Uh, do another one.